persistent feelings of dissatisfaction or other sort of moderate to low grade troubled feelings that a lot of people have are often a great doorway into the wholeness that really sits behind whatever wounds you may be carrying. And so let's take a moment to work with those sort of moderate to low grade feelings of discontent. Uh, I'm gonna suggest that we start by going through your body's spatial awareness. So what we're gonna do is, is pay attention to if, if you have a general feeling of dissatisfaction, a feeling of unease, a feeling of not okay, go ahead and pay attention to where your body seems to react to that. Check whether the feeling seems to be more high near the head, somewhere in the middle, somewhere down low, and breathe in deep, breathe out slow. Focus on the shape of your body and where you seem to be having reactions. It's not unusual for people as they explore this to feel like the dissatisfied feeling is something that actually comes from outside of them or is bigger than them, and that's fine. Whatever comes to mind, whether it's a specific sensation in the body or whether it's more like this sense that there's this big river of experience or this big thing surrounding you, uh, it's fine. You're just you're just looking for it. You're looking for where it is. You're breathing in deep. You're breathing out slow and being curious what will happen because you're observing it. Now, there's a very specific pattern that emerges when you're starting to get more deeply into yourself. There's certain things that start adjusting on the inside and they move in sort of contracting and expanding patterns. There's like a tension that turns into sort of an activated or uncomfortable feeling. Often the heart rate rises, often circulatory changes happen. Uh, there's, there's either heat or hot and cold fluctuations on the more intense side. And every now and again, some strange feelings emerge in the gut area. And that's fine. You, you just be curious about it if there's tension in the chest or if there's tension in the gut or if there's uh, strange feelings somewhere in the body. Just be curious about them and curious when they're going to move uh, through the familiar pattern of tension, activation, and then release. Just keep breathing. Even if your chest gets tight for a moment, that's OK. It's just part of the process. You just keep pushing to get the air you need and be curious as to when the tension will let up. If the jaw gets tight, uh, I'd suggest opening and closing the jaw slowly, putting at least a small percentage of your attention into the muscles doing the work in the jaw. And if things start to tremble or start to wobble or start to feel strange, uh, welcome that feeling that's going to lead to the, the release process. There's there's a stripping away of fight or flight energy and then this emerging of emotions. Welcome the emotions, both the positive ones and the negative ones, because they're part of what ha what comes up and starts to integrate as you go through that doorway into what is more deeply yours. And truly what you're going to see on the other side of that door is going to be more of a feeling of wholeness, more of a feeling of strength, of courage. These things are all just a part of you and you're going to be able to enjoy more of them as you go through these tight and thorny doorways of your feelings of dissatisfaction or discontent. Whatever trembles, whatever wobbles, whatever wiggles on the inside, whatever gets hot or uncomfortable or sweats, it's all just part of the process of release and integration. And uh, if you get completely overwhelmed, well, that's that's the time to, to stop the process. If you feel like you're getting worse and worse and the more you look at it, the worse you feel, well, then, then we've hit some implicit memory that has not been properly processed and probably needs a different kind of work and a different kind of approach. If, however, you're feeling bursts of goodness and joy uh, intermittently mixed with negative feelings that's that's great that's exactly what you're looking for that leads ultimately to a balance of peace and connection and strength <laughs>